we felt in this office after meeting with our team of experts that for the state of Idaho, the, the fight in Texas was more advantageous. And the main reason is because when you're one of two in that battle, you get to uh, manage the case a little bit more forcefully and more directly than when you're one of 23 or 24 other states. Some people in Idaho disagreed with that decision because they were used to telling the attorney general how to do things. And what they need to understand is that the attorney general is an independently elected uh, constitutional officer. I'm not the governor's attorney. I'm the attorney for the state of Idaho and I get to make those decisions. And we share the, that decision making with, with the agencies and, and with the governor's office and they didn't like it. But we were proven to be right because our case was not only heard and decided earlier, but if you look at the North Dakota case where they actually agreed with us as well, if you read the opinion, their op the opinion of that court is pretty much based on the opinion of the battle in Texas. So the preliminary injunction that WOTUS has right now in all these different states is because of the leadership that I took in making sure that we did the right thing for Idaho, the right, people, the right thing for the uh, citizens of Idaho, and the right thing in this battle, which is gonna be the catalyst for really fighting back against the Biden administration. One of the critics of your decision on that was the director of DEQ. Yes. Who said you didn't communicate very well with them mm. about what you wanted to do legally here, mm. and they would have preferred the North Dakota lawsuit. And they were wrong. So I was proven right, and they were wrong. Uh, they, I, we communicated with the governor's office. Remember, DEQ doesn't work for me and I don't work for DEQ. The, the, the director of DEQ, who's a great person and I have no issues with, uh, works for the governor's office. And I informed the governor uh, what they needed to do, what we were gonna do, and it really was the responsibility of the governor's office to explain to DEQ what was happening. It wasn't my responsibility. They're just not used to that. They're used to coming in here and bossing the attorney general around and telling the attorney general what they need to do. Uh, but also lessons learned, you know. Um, we, we opened up more communication with them. We explained to them the things that we were doing. And I think they're pretty happy with their result.